hello students welcome to my channel engineers academy kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and also like these videos if uh, they helps in your learning now i'm going to solve this one another problem from chapter 2 engineering statics by mariam and craig uh, in this problem it is said that the tension in the supporting cable bc is 800 pound right so the tension in this cable is 800 pound right and it is said that write the force which this cable exerts on the boom OEB as a vector T. So, we have to represent the tension T in this BC cable as a Cartesian vector, right. So, let us say that uh, that tension T is acting from B to C, right. So, this is that vector T, right. This is that vector T which is acting from B to C and we have to represent this t vector as a Cartesian vector, right. And further it is said that determine the angle theta x, theta y and theta z which the line of action of t uh, makes with the pos positive x, y and z axis. We have to determine the corresponding angles of this t vector with the positive x, y and z axis respectively, right. So, in order to write this t as a Cartesian vector as we know that this t vector will be equal to t magnitude times the unit vector and the unit vector is from B to C, right. So, this is from B to C and again we can write that uh, since this magnitude is given which is 800. So, we can write that this is 800 times this unit vector and we know that unit vector will be equal to BC vector divided by BC magnitude, right. So, now to find this BC vector we require the coordinates of this point B and the coordinates of this point C with respect to this origin, right. So, now I can write these uh, coordinates of point B, right. So, to reach this point B, we need to travel uh, 7 feet distance in the positive y direction, right. So, I will write 7 and then we need to travel 2.5 plus 2.5 along the positive x axis, is right. So, this is 5 feet in the positive x axis. Is and then in the positive z axis uh, we need to travel 1.5 feet, right. So, I will write that this is 1.5 feet. So, these are the coordinates of point B in feet, right. And similarly, uh, the coordinates of point C. So, to reach this point C we need to travel uh, 6 feet in the positive x direction. So, I will write 6 then we need to travel uh, 3 feet in the positive z direction. So, I will write 3 and there is no need to travel in the mm, y direction since this point C is in the x y plane, right. So, the y coordinate is 0, right. So, now we can find this BC vector. So, I will write that this T vector is equal to 800 and that B C vector, right. So, we have to subtract the coordinates of point B from C, the corresponding coordinates of point B from C, right. So, 6 minus 5 is 1, 1, uh, 1 i, and 0 minus 7 is minus 7 j and 3 minus 1.5 is plus 1.5 k. So, this is that B C vector and the BC magnitude will be 1 square plus 7 square plus 1.5 square. So, when we solve this, this magnitude comes out to be 7.228, right. So, we can write that this T vector is equal to 800 into 1 divided by 7.228 I minus 7 divided by 7.228 j plus 1.5 divided by 7.228 k, right. And we can further simplify this. So, this is 800 So, this is that Cartesian vector representation of that tension t from B to C, right. Now, we are asked to determine the angles of this t vector with uh, theta with the positive x, y and z axis is right. So, let us say, let us say that this is my positive x axis, is, this is my positive z and this is my positive y axis, is, right. So, this will be let us say 
this t vector is making theta x angle with the positive x axis is theta y with the positive y axis is and theta z with the positive z axis is. So, we have to find these angles right. So, now as we know that we can write the generalized equation of this t vector. So, this will be equal to its magnitude times the direction cosines right. So, we can write that this is cos of theta x i plus cos of theta y j plus cos of theta z k right. We have already discussed this right. So, now by comparing these two equations we can say that cos of theta x is equal to 0 0.138. Similarly, cos of theta y equals to minus 0 0.968. And similarly, we can write that cos of theta z equals to 0 0.208, right? And we can find the corresponding theta x, theta y, and theta z, right? So, theta x will be equal to cos inverse 0 0.138. Similarly, theta y will be equal to cos inverse uh, minus 0 0.968. Similarly, theta z will be equal to cos inverse 0. 208 and remember that your calculator need to be in degrees right. So, cos inverse 0 0.138. So, this is equal to 82.07 degrees. Similarly, cos inverse uh, minus 0 0.968. This is 165.47 degrees and similarly 0 0.208. So, this is 77.99. So, we can say that it is approximately 78 degrees. So, this is the Cartesian vector representation of the tension T and BC cable and these are the angles of this T vector with the positive x, y and z axis. So, this is the solution of this particular problem.